Welcome back to the Shooter's Bay. And today we're going to take a look at uh, a case for your Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Um, this is a beautiful tablet. Hopefully some of you guys was able to take advantage of the Black Friday promotion T-Mobile was offering on this tablet. Um, but if you did, so you already know that this is uh, probably the best built tablet out there. It's glass front, glass back. But with that being said, um, it's very slippery. It's hard to hold this tablet. Even when your fingers are extremely dry, it is very difficult to hold this tablet. It's just way too slippery. It's the slipperiest device I've ever held. Um, the Galaxy Note 9 is all glass. That's slippery. But this is just, I guess the size of this make it even more slippery. Um, so we're going to, you definitely going to have to rock this with a case. Outside of it being extremely slippery because it's all glass, um, it's a fingerprint magnet. Every time you touch it, it you know if you touch on this all day long, at the end of the day, you will have a thick layer of just oil and muck all over it. So with with that being said, we're going to take a look at a really nice case. I'm going to link it in the description by Poetic Cases. Now, for those of you who know about Poetic Cases, we're going to move the tab to the side for a moment. For those of you who know about Poetic Cases, their phone cases. Poetic uh, offers really nice cases for really good prices. So a lot of their, uh, they make heavy, they specialize in heavy duty protective cases and their cases are always reasonably priced and you can find them on Amazon. You rarely see Poetic cases in stores or on the carriers. You'll see out of boxes and more expensive cases in retail stores, but these you'll catch online, mainly on Amazon and eBay. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this open. Before we do, let's take a look around the back. Designed in the USA, made in China. And make sure you get the right label. The label will tell you what it's for. Tab S4. You want to make sure when you order these cases, you order the right one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up. I'm going to whip out the little unboxing knife here. Okay, that's your installation instructions. Who needs that? Here's your case. Now, for me, with a tablet, a case with a kickstand is a must. I cannot do a tablet without a kickstand case. So, now there's a trade-off with this case, and I'll tell you about it in a second. Let's go ahead and get the plastic off. Now, this is a three-part case. This also has screen protection. Don't worry about the S Pen, guys. I use these type of cases on my Galaxy Note 9. I'm actually using a um, subcase, which is all, they all pretty much the same. iBlazon, Poetic, subcase. They all specialize in these heavy-duty cases for a reasonable price. They are really just shutting out of box down right now because there's no reason to go out there and pay $70 for an out of box and for a tablet out of box even more. So anyway, for me, a case with a kickstand as you can see, is a must for a tablet because I use my tablet when I'm in my, mainly, the main reason why I use my tablet is when I'm in the kitchen cooking. I love to cook. I'll get the damn kickstand down. But anyway, let's go ahead and take this apart. I'm going to, it's, um, you peel it at the corner. You just grab one of the corners and just peel it down and you just kind of work it up a little bit. Now you guys know who rock with these protective cases, they can be a pain in the ass to get apart. Just kind of work it slowly. You don't want to work too hard and damage the screen protector. Even though these are good without the screen protector, every now and then the screen protectors get beat down. I just pop them out and just run it without the screen protector. Because it's such a raised lip that even if it fell face first, as long as it fell completely flat, it wouldn't it wouldn't break the screen anyway. Because you got a lot of um, raisivity um, here, if that's a word. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the tablet. Make sure we give the screen a final wipe off. I'm gonna give the screen another quick dusting before we drop it in the case. Make sure I got all the fine particles of dust off. Nothing worse than having your device in a case with a whole bunch of crap under it and you gotta, that drives you crazy, don't it? All right, so it look like we got everything off. Give it a, still dusty. All right, okay, that's good enough for now. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay it down and you're gonna put it, the tablet and face down. 
You're just going to kind of work it in. Don't, without scratching your tablet, you don't want to scratch it at all. Try to keep the fingerprints on the back to a minimal, even though you're not going to be looking at the back still. See, that's underneath a little. That's going to drive me crazy, but that's okay. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in. Show you guys how it look. And you're going to just drop it in. You're just going to work it. Work it around. The bottom is, you're going to have to pull that out because it's going to get caught up, hung up on the ports. And just kind of work it down. There we go. Hold, let me pull it back from behind the camera real quick. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to... And now you just want to finish it off. Just work, just go around and work all the edges down. Make sure it's completely seated. It's not hard to do it. It seats pretty good. Uh, make sure. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go right here. And there we go. We're completely seated. So now your tablet is completely protected. I mean... It is really, really protected in this case. I'm a huge fan of the Poetic cases, the iBlazon cases, and the Sub cases. Check it out. You got your Poetic branding on the back. Okay. This is the Revolution case. Poetic. You got f f like four little stoppers, so when you sit it down, it won't slide on the table. You got your cutout for your camera. Here's your kickstand. There we go. And you just pull a little latch down. And now you can rock your tablet. Let me just go ahead and unlock it. And now you got your tablet. You can sit your tablet down. You can watch your Netflix. Let's go to YouTube. We can go to and watch it, pull up a YouTube video real quick. As you can see, the S Pen is very responsive. And I'll just pull up one of my videos. That way I don't have to worry about any kind of crazy, you know how YouTube is. And we can pull up the video I did on the... Um, on this tablet. Here we go. The only problem is, see, it detected the S Pen when I brought it in close to the screen. Here we go. Okay, so the only problem with this S Pen is there's nowhere to stow it. In okay. The so, since I said it right there, there's no way to stow the S Pen. With this case, there's still no way to stow the S Pen. Now, they do make protective cases. Um, they got one protective case. It's by a company that I really like. I think it's... Um, it might be poetic. They have a, a rugged case with an S Pen slot, but there's no kickstand. I, again, like I said, I, whatever case I get for a tablet, it has to have a kickstand because I use this in my kitchen. Most of the time, I use my tablet in my kitchen when I'm when I'm cooking. I'll pop it up and I'll just go ahead and watch a Netflix movie as I'm cooking. Or I'll watch YouTube videos when I'm cooking and when I'm on the go. If I'm, you know, mainly I use my tablet when I'm on the go or when I'm in my kitchen. That's pretty much the time. Or if I'm in bed, but you know, mainly. In the, when I'm in my kitchen, so uh, uh, I like to cook, cooking with Cooter. You guys, if you guys request it down in the comment section, I'll let you guys come in the kitchen and cook with me one day, and we'll do an episode of cooking with Cooter. But this is the um, Poetic Revolution case for the Tab S4. This is an awesome protective case. Their products are good. They speak for themselves. I don't have to really say a whole lot. If you got a Tab S4, oh, let's check out your ports real quick. You got your speaker cutouts on the bottom. You got your you got your cutout for your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and these are stiff. Well, it's new. And once you work them a little bit, they'd be okay. Your Type C charge port is clean on this side. You got two more cutouts for speakers. One for your mic. You got your volume rocker, your power button, screen on off button. Another cutout for your mic, for a mic. And you got your reinforced corners. You check out the corners, they are reinforced. So if it fall on the corner, you got extra protection to protect the corners. Overall, this is a great case for this tablet. This is a great tablet. Um, Real quick, just jump into a couple of things about the tablet. It's not going to be a full-on review. I'll do that later. But this is a great tablet. If you still got time, if T-Mobile is still offering it, 
Check it out. The case, I'm going to throw the link up in the description. I think the case was $24.99. If you got this tablet, this is a hell of a case to get. Also, with the kickstand on the case, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard. You can sit your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse right in front of it and work. It's cheaper than buying the Samsung, um, their keyboard case. Their keyboard case, they want $150 for it. No way. You can get a case like this for $25. A Bluetooth keyboard is like $20. And a Bluetooth mouse is like $10. And you got your whole setup. And the portable Bluetooth keyboard, you just throw it all in the bag and travel with it. I would advise you to go that route than to buy the Samsung um, type cover. That thing's $150 and it doesn't even have media keys on it. Uh, real quick, you got more cutouts on the top. You have your camera cutouts and your front facing camera, and you also have your iris sensor and your um, face detection. All that stuff is uh, cut out on the top for you. So, this is Cooter. Again, we just took a look at the Poetic Revolution case for the Tab S4. You can grab it on Amazon. I'll throw the link in the description. Thanks for supporting the Shooters Bay. I'm going to come back probably tomorrow with a full review on this tablet. Um, I'm going to compare it directly to the Tab S2. I don't have a Tab S3. I didn't get a Tab S3, but um, we're going to compare it to the Tab S2. I do believe the Tab S3 had the same form factor as the Tab S2. So we're going to do a basic comparison on the size. Um, I like the aspect ratio of this. This has a, a classic 16.9 uh, aspect ratio, which is idea for tablets. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.